I can remember uh, when we're living in Westlock, first being exposed to live aircraft when Wap May uh, was barnstorming and he came into the airport. And that really hooked me, that one. And I, I guess that is the background. That uh, feeling persisted and until it later developed into something more tangible. I happened to be uh, working in a grocery store directly across the street in Edmonton from the RCAF recruiting office. So I decided that uh, I'm now 18, I better think about uh, getting into this thing. So I was enrolled at that point on the 9th of December, 39, uh, as a, a pilot candidate in the RCF. I was fortunate enough to win the uh, D DFC, the Distinguished Flying Cross, uh, having uh, destroyed five enemy aircraft. I now have 13 and uh, I'm get a second award of the DFC. I uh, came home at the end of the war, uh, went to several different places. Uh, my last tour overseas, uh, uh, Commander of the Canadian Forces Europe uh, at LAR, and the Chief of the Defense Staff came over, General Sharp, and I explained to him that I was thinking of leaving the service. I had uh, written to uh, Dean Muncaster, who was uh, president of Canadian Tire in those days, and explained my interest in uh, going to his company. I have three problems against me. I'm too old, I have no money, and I want to be in a partnership. And none of those were, of course, were acceptable things from the Canadian Times' point of view. However, in this case, they seem to overlook them. I volunteered for two things, for the military and for public service following. The military, I was inspired by my love for aircraft and the war. Kind of my country is at war. The post-war stuff, volunteering for community service, I felt an obligation so to do, an interest of course in starting getting involved in something new, but I felt I owed it uh, to people. Uh, if I can help in any way, I must, I should. We lived in every province across the country, but I am an Albertan. My neck isn't quite as red as some Albertans, but I, I love Alberta and Albertans.